I would like to express my concern and my and my worry about Abdul Ab Ab Abdul Jalil uh, Sinke, uh, who I know, who we spent um, three weeks together in in California at, at Stanford, and he came. He, we became good friends. He's a very strong man. It's a shame that he's been arrested and and held for the time he has been simply for exercising his rights, and for and, and it's, it's a great it's a crying shame. So. He's in our, in our thoughts, he's in our minds, and whatever we can do to assist to add international pressure on Bahrain to have him released, we will do so. Um, it is really is a, is a, it's a great pity that, that somebody who, who is disabled um, can, can be made to suffer in the way he's been made to suffer. He's not, not got a, a drop of violence in him. He's a man who believes in peaceful means. The fact that he disagrees with the government should not be enough for him to be jailed the way he's been jailed and to be treated the way he has been treated. It is a travesty of justice. It's a travesty of human rights. And we wish him well and we wish the people of Bahrain well as they figure out how to have peaceful dialogue that does not end up with people being jailed for, for simply disagreeing with government.